Call of Duty Black Ops 3 came out on November 6, 2016, and this game would change many content creators' lives, especially for the zombies community. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies is regarded as one of the best zombie games ever made, and there's no doubt that the zombies community reached its peak viewership during BO3. There is so much content to be enjoyed in Black Ops 3 Zombies, with a total of 14 playable zombies maps. Some of the most popular zombies YouTubers around this time were The Smith Plays, Mr. T Lexify, NoahJ456, Mr. Raffle Waffles, Mr. Dalek JD, and a bunch more. Many of their videos are pulling over 1 million views during this time, and Call of Duty Zombies was in a great place during 2016. I always felt that multiplayer overshadowed zombies in a lot of the previous Call of Duty titles, but for the first time in Black Ops 3, it felt like people were more committed to zombies than ever before. Due to how popular the game mode was during this time, five content creators decided to move into a house together and make videos with each other during the summers of 2016 and also 2017. The five people involved in this content house were The Smith Plays, Mr. T Lexify, MC Sports Hawk, Chucky, and Lonely Mailbox. The group called themselves the Z House, aka the Zombie House, and it became much more successful than they ever imagined. Unfortunately though, the Z House didn't last as long as most people thought it would, and it ended after two summers. Why did the Z House come to an end so soon though, and what are the chances anything similar returns in the future? We are going to be answering both of those questions in today's video, as well as talking about the rise and eventual fall of the Z House. Let's get straight into it. First of all, it's important to note that the Smith Plays, Pat, and also Mr. T Lexify, Lex, both had over 1 million subscribers when the Z House started, and they were the most popular Z House members by far. MC Sports Hawk, Matt, Lonely Mailbox, Jack, and Chucky all had well over 100,000 subscribers on their channels before the Z House though, so it's not like they had small channels before the Z House began. Either way though, on July 17th, 2016, Mr. T Luxify uploaded a video titled Arriving at the House of Zombies, where he made a skit about showing up to the Z House, and this video got over 1.6 million views. Even though both Pat and Lex were more popular than a lot of the other Z House members, some of the most iconic Z House videos were made by the other three members, Matt, Jack, and Chucky. Matt was the oldest member of the Z House, and he was around 23 years old when the content house started, and he was the guy that really organized all the logistics when it comes to forming a content house of five content creators who all live in different areas of the world. The 2016 Z House was located in Los Angeles, but the Smith Plays and Mr. T Luxify both lived in Canada, so they had to come to the United States in order to be a part of the Z House. Moving forward though, once everyone actually got to the house, everyone's channel was doing extremely well, and people enjoyed watching their IRL challenge videos. Even though the Z House was about Black Ops 3 Zombies, all the members branched out their content a lot and made a lot more videos as a group. Surprisingly enough, the videos that weren't directly related to zombies were the ones getting millions and millions of views. Whenever I go back to watch the old Z House videos, I always watch the group videos and not the actual zombies videos. It's not because the zombies videos are bad, but the group videos are just so much better in my opinion and they are absolutely hilarious. A lot of times, a Z House member would take a concept from zombies and apply it to an in real life video. For example, the Smith Plays uploaded a video titled Real Life Rainbow Perk Challenge and this video got over 1.9 million views. This video didn't involve any zombies gameplay, but it was still referencing a popular challenge a lot of zombies YouTubers like to do, that being the Rainbow Perk Challenge. Another example of this is when MC Sports Hawk uploaded a video titled Real Life Wonder Fist Challenge and this video got over 4 million views. As I said earlier, all the group videos with the Z House were getting more views compared to their traditional zombies content, which showed people cared way more about the group aspect of the videos rather than just the game. Don't get me wrong, people wanted to see regular zombies videos as well, because this was one of the best times to be a zombies fan content wise. Garod Krovi had just been released in Black Ops 3 during the first Z House, and it turned out to be one of the greatest maps of all time. The 2016 Z House is usually viewed more fondly than the 2017 Z House, mainly because in 2016, all the members uploaded a lot more content. 2016 was also a better time to be a zombies fan, so a lot of the videos uploaded back then were getting hundreds of thousands of views. Even though a lot of people form content houses nowadays, back in 2016, this was a relatively new thing, and it was surprising to see a bunch of zombies content creators come together and make videos. I've always been a huge fan of the Smith Plays, and I've been watching his content for years, but I do think MC Sports Talk made the best overall Z House group videos. The 2016 Z House was a massive success, but as I said, it only lasted for a couple of months in the summer, because many of the Z House members were in college. Moving forward to 2017, Lex, Matt, and Pat continued to make zombies content, but Jack and Chucky didn't really post that much on YouTube. Jack was really focused on making music, and Chucky was doing his own thing. All the members decided to reunite and get another house together in 2017, which was once again located in California. As I mentioned, the 2017 Z House wasn't as good as the 2016 Z House because they didn't upload as much content. Don't get me wrong, whenever they did upload a video it was great, but the quantity just wasn't there. The Z House members explained why this was the case a bunch of times, saying that they became much better friends in 2017, and they weren't trusting themselves out about uploading consistently. The best way I can describe it is, in 2016, it was five YouTubers living together in a house, but in 2017, it was five friends living together in a house. Even though there weren't any new ZS members added in 2017, they would often have other zombies content creators join the house for a couple weeks. Mr. Ruffle Waffles, aka Milo, visited the ZS in 2016, and in 2017, 
2017, they had a ton of people at the house for the Zombies World Championship draft. Some of my favorite videos from the 2017 Z House include Z House does a lie detector test, which got over 1.2 million views, Z House Guess Who Challenge that got over 900,000 views, and Z House Mean Tweets 3, which got over 500,000 views. I think one of the best parts about the Z House is how much replay value the videos had, and I still find myself in 2022 about to be 2023 going back and watching the old Z House videos. So at this point in time, we've established how successful the Z House was, and how even a lot of their non-zombies videos are getting millions of views. The Z House fanbase was extremely strong, and many people expected Z House to make a return in the summer of 2018. Unfortunately though, on June 9th, 2018, the official Z House Twitter put out a tweet saying, for a number of reasons, we have decided that there will be no Z House 2018. This decision may be shocking for a lot of people. Why would the Z House not come back for another summer, when all their channels were thriving the previous two summers? It can be pretty difficult to answer this question, but it mainly comes down to everyone being in a different spot in their life. Many Z House members have talked about why they didn't continue the group, and that is usually what they say. I think MC Sports Talk, aka Matt, was the one pushing the hardest for the Z House to continue. It's important to understand though that Matt was 24 years old and he was also living in LA, so it was pretty easy for him to be a member of the Z House. As for Jack, aka Lonely Mailbox, he really wasn't uploading on YouTube anymore and he was strictly focused on music. Even when the Z House was going on, people made fun of Jack for never uploading and he hasn't uploaded a video on YouTube that wasn't a song in over four years. When it comes to Chucky, he wasn't posting on his channel either and he hasn't uploaded a single video in over five years. When it comes to Pat, he was doing really well with Fortnite content and didn't feel the need to join the Z House, even though I do think he would have said yes if everyone else was on board. When it comes to Lex, he was still uploading Zombies content on a regular basis, but he wanted to go back to school and get his degree, something that his mom really wanted him to do. So there's not one clear cut reason as to why the Z House ended, but rather a bunch of different factors that contributed. Another reason people like to point to when talking about why the Z House ended is that Call of Duty World War 2 came out this year and the zombies are not that great in this game. I don't think this is a very strong argument because the Z House wasn't even about zombies, especially in 2017, and it was more about five content creators making funny videos together. I think the Z House could have transitioned to strictly IRL content and challenge videos without a problem, which makes it even more frustrating as a fan, knowing how much of an opportunity was wasted. The 2016 and 2017 Z Houses only took place during the summer, but imagine if the entire group committed to the Z House and they started living together year round. I know for a fact all their channels would have done incredibly well, because collab videos always do well on YouTube, and everyone in the Z House had amazing chemistry on camera. I was recently watching a podcast with Matt, Lex, and Milo, and they were all talking about how popular the Z House could have been if things were done differently, and I 100% agree. If the Z House continued, I think they would have made a group channel called the Z House, where they uploaded at least one video per week, similar to the Sidemen. All those US members would still post on their own channels, but they could grow a group channel very quickly, and they could split the revenue from that channel equally. In the podcast that I was watching, Matt also talked about how the group focused way too much on how the 2017 Z House was much worse than the 2016 Z House, and they let it get in their heads way too much that a potential 2018 Z House would be even worse than 2017. I also agree with Matt here, because the 2017 Z House was only worse because they didn't upload as many videos. If the group came back in 2018 on a more organized schedule, they would have uploaded a lot more content. Either way though, a lot of stuff that I'm talking about is just speculation on what could have been, but it's really disappointing for me and a lot of the other Z House fans because we know just how special those two summers were. The truth is, the Z House is never going to return in the same way we knew it before. Maybe another content house might form with a lot of the other Call of Duty YouTubers, but it's going to be next to impossible to recreate the Z House, and I think everybody knows that. So when it comes down to it, what happened to the Z House? I think it mainly has to do with everyone being in a different life position, as well as them not being able to commit to the Z House for a longer period of time than just a couple months a year. Moving forward to the present day, most of the Z House members have moved away from Zombies content altogether, except for Mr. T Lexify, who still uploads Call of Duty videos, but I have a feeling he's gonna switch up his content rather soon. The Smith Plays doesn't upload on his main channel much anymore, and is instead uploading Minecraft videos on a channel called Nifty Smith, and also Pokemon videos on a channel called Smith Plays Pokemon, and both of these channels are doing extremely well viewership wise. As for MC Sports Talk, he doesn't upload on that channel anymore, but he started a new channel called Matt's Crypto, which currently has over 100,000 subscribers. He also started the Matt and Milo podcast, which I mentioned earlier in the video. As for Lonely Mailbox, aka Jack, he doesn't upload on that channel anymore, and as far as I know, he is still working on music, and a lot of his songs are actually really good. I recommend you go check him out on Spotify or Apple Music under the name Kennedy. As for Chucky, he doesn't upload on his gaming channel anymore, but he works closely with Mr. Beast, helping him design thumbnails and plan content. I really wish the Zeos would have returned for at least one more year, just to see how things would have went, but either way, it's nice to see how all the former members have been successful in their own right. Make sure to drop a comment down below on who your favorite Zeos member is. I gotta go with Pat, just because I've been watching his content the longest. I hope you enjoyed this video on what happened to the Z House, and I'll see you all next time.